So this is a follow up on my Rhino Walk tail bag that I got maybe three, four months ago. Put about 4,000 miles on the bike while this bag was on it. Here's the first thing I love about this bag is the storage. I'm gonna try to throw a picture up of when I took a ride to Niagara Falls. And it looked funny, but it fits so much stuff. I was out for three days on that trip. Um, and it was just incredible. Every time I looked at the bag, I laughed, but I was like, wow, this thing's great. It really uh, fits a lot. I stuffed it to the gills and it was able to fit everything I needed. So if we open it up here, you're going to see I got some Reflectix inside. That's, you know, just to keep the inside a little cooler, a couple degrees cooler. I got in the main small pocket here, just a battery charger, my insurance registration. And then if I were to open the main pocket here. It's just going to have everything I keep in there. I got a plastic bag. I got the waterproof bag. Doesn't come with it, unfortunately. I have to figure out my own situation for that. Got some bars here. You never know when you need that. Got some spray. Got this right here the neck gaiter. Got my gloves. Got this bag of tools. I used to have a box in here, but I didn't like the amount of space it took up. So I ended up just putting it into the bag. But this is the main pocket. And when I say main pocket, it's the same pocket that you expand. So what you do, I'm gonna show it to you here actually. So what you do here, this is again, the same pocket that expands, but when it's closed, you can do this when it's open, I guess, but it's a pain in the ass. There's a zipper on the back that's kind of tucked in. You open that up and it expands. So there's all that extra storage that you have. Now you can really fill this thing and it gets tall. Like I said, I'll, that picture that I, if I showed it already, if not showing it right now, but it uh, <laughs> definitely expands. So I love the storage on this thing. I love how much it's able to uh, to fit for sure. Second thing I love about this are the zippers. I mean, these zippers are so smooth. They're just constantly, they're, they're just perfect. I don't have any issue with these zippers. They're very smooth. Right now this pocket's just tough to get, you know, grasp on with, with one hand, but these zippers have not given me any issues. They, they feel good, they travel well, they just, they're, they're good zippers. No issues with the zippers there. Especially the main one. This one is just like the smoothest one for some reason, but it's probably not by design. <laughs> And the way this thing mounts to the bike is something I like. It actually grew on me. So when I first got it, I didn't really, I wasn't too fond of this design. But then over time, I realized just how strong it is. It, it locks in place. This bag doesn't move when I'm on the highway. I'm constantly asking my cousin while we're riding, is my bag okay? And he's like, yeah, it's fine. Shut the fuck up about it. But yeah, this bag is great for that. Now, the other thing... And you might notice in my original video, I had the bag reversed. I actually brought it forward because I'm able to now take the strap and loop it through the top of the bike. This is for the sissy bar, the cover on the on the seat. And then I can just lock it in from there. Um, and this loosens up if you, if you need to Let me just bring it up. There we go. And this thing holds. I have no issues. With this thing very very confidence inspiring don't mind this i tried mounting a gopro mount didn't work out too well because silicone doesn't like the sun don't worry the camera's fine this is what i originally had on the bike and they were just way too wide so i am actually going to look for a quick bracket system so i can put the brackets on the bike and then have these just pop on and off and hopefully that reduces how wide these go but We'll see. Well, that's it. If you're in the market for a tail bag and you have a bike like mine, have a big, you know, M90 or an M109R or even the smaller M50 or any any bike that's wide, I would definitely recommend this. According to the pictures on the box, it says you can get away with, you know, putting this on any bike. My cousin has a uh, my cousin has a Ducati Diablo X and uh, or an X Diablo S, whatever the name is. It's a sick bike. We can't put this on that because it's just way too wide. So it really depends on what you have. So if you have a sports bike, maybe look for something a little bit smaller. Rhino Walk has a bunch of, uh, is it Rhino Walk? Yeah, Rhino Walk. Ha, already forgot it. But Rhino Walk has a bunch of different bags. So definitely take a look at what they have um, to see if something else fits you. But if you have a cruiser or a bike like this and you have a wide seat or a wide seat cowl, throw this bad boy on. You will not be upset. I never take this off my bike. Like, never. 
100 percent of the time i'm riding unless i'm going to queen the bike which i don't do too often or i'll just do it here in the garage but i keep this on the bike it's so handy you could go i mean not full out grocery shopping but you could run to the store and stop on your way home and grab something that you have to you don't have to go get the car so that's it shout out to rhino walk i purchased this with my own money by the way i'm not you know, sponsored by them or anything like that i just wanted to drop this review because i know a lot of people out there are looking for uh, tail bags all right, I figured I'd show the bag off of the bike um, and just talk about the two things that I'm not too fond of, but they're not deal breakers. The first is this buckle right here. As you could tell, this is some epoxy here. Um, this actually um, broke off because I pulled it too hard on a trip one day and this whole thing popped off. So the way this is connected is there's two plastic kind of hooks, if you will, and on the opposite end, there are little squares that notch into this piece right here and they slide in. Um, kind of like, you know, uh, when you're hanging a picture on the back of it, you put the screw in and then it drops down to kind of lock in or on the back of an old phone for anybody that remembers those. I know I'm old. I know I'm old. Um, so this fell off. So I ended up putting some epoxy and some glue on it and it's, it's been fine ever since. So there's really no issues here and I, it's fine. Like I'm not worried about it, but if maybe their design was a little bit better from the get go, I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, doing that. So maybe on the next one. They make this part of this top so it's sewn into it or, or whatever the case is however they do that i think that's what i would do the second thing that really i'm not too fond of but again not a deal breaker is the shape of the bag so originally the bag is shaped fine because the there's there's another zipper here a third zipper that lets you take out the inside it's just a plastic sheet so what happens is that plastic sheet over time kind of loses it's rigidity if you will and it, see right here it kind of sticks out a little bit so you really have to go around and tighten everything down and get it in place i'm sorry before you tighten everything down and kind of there you go now it's in place right because now i can put this strap in here tighten it down a little bit and now you don't see the edge won't see it popped out a little bit but that's the problem i'm talking about again not a huge deal when i strap it down you know strong enough you're not going to see it anywhere like that it's gonna be nice and clean but still it would be nice if that plastic on the inside was a little bit more rigid and it kind of cut in a little bit not to lose space but just to make it a little bit cleaner but again when you have it like this and you really take some time to to make sure everything's good maybe you, you know won't bother you as much as i let it bother me but i love this thing i'm definitely keeping it on the bike and i recommend you do the same if you have a similar bike all right take care